Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can utilize the power of open source LLMs in your VS Code for assistive coding and code completions for free. Just like how you use GitHub Copilot. Use so we will be using Continue AI Code Assistant that you can use to run any open source model directly into your ID. It supports Olama, so you need to have Olama installed in your computer. If you haven't watched the last video, you should definitely check that out. So let's go to the extension, install it in our VS Code and enable it. So I have to, oh, okay, uh, let me just quickly go and uh, disable my GitHub Copilot so that we can utilize continue for our ID experience. Give me a minute. All right, it's done. So let's go to continue and let's go to the icon in the sidebar. And you can see we have a wizard where you can uh, either use API keys from the continue, but we don't want to use that. We want to use the local. So there's one more mode best where you can select any third party chart model. And uh, you there's a local. This is which we will be targeting to using Olama. So you can see install Olama. So first you need to set up Olama and then we will be pulling up Llama 3.1 8b and quen 2.5 for auto completion model so once that is done we will be able to uh, utilize it in our uh, so there's one more model deep seek coder suggested by the olama blog which says it is a very good coding language model that we can utilize it for auto completion so let's look at it in our, the github and know more about it so as you can see, it has two trillion token support powered by 80 programming languages. So it's very good language and it's open source and free for commercial use. So you can just check this out. The website has a lot more information on the performance and the documents. So I'm going to Hugging Face where I can see they have the Chinese company which is powering this model. Uh, they have a chatbot too. Let me quickly try some ch chat with it for coding. So it's giving me code for code completion uh, along with different options to tweak in generated it code. So let's go to the Olama models and type in deep code. Deep C coder. We will select the 6.7b model and then copy the command and run it in our terminal and it will pull up the model for us it might take some time for you uh, so yeah let's go back to the docs of continue where we will see the configuration that we need to make so i'm heading over to check where we can get more information on the configurations so it supports chat, autocomplete, actions, edit for the uh, copilot. So how to use it, autocomplete, yep. So here we can go to setup, yep. So here you can see there are options uh, that we need to change in the config.json. So by default, Quint 2.5 coder will be the model that is you being used for code completion sorry auto completion so we'll be using deep seek coder instead of quen so let's go to uh, configuration settings and here you can find the models llama 3.1b and claude and uh, for code completion quen 2.5 so back to Let's try it out first with Gwen, if it is working fine. So I'm going to 
tell it to generate a hello world yeah as you can see the code completion is working okay so that works so let me try to use a different model this time i'm going to use mistral code uh, yeah let me go and use codestral because i already have an api key for it so i wanted to try this model so i'm going to paste it go to the website and copy the api key yep uh so the api key that we will we copied it was only for the chat model but if we want to use it for code completion we can also do that so as you can see the code completion is working really good so here is the co configuration that i'm using currently so let me try to generate some code completion i'm going to tell him to write a tic tac toe game in js let's see how it works like a test drive so as you can see it is powered by a uh, deep coder so deep coder is running parallelly uh, in my terminal uh, by olama and uh, currently the laptop is heating a bit maybe because we are using a large language model 6.7b so you might try to use a small language model based on your use case scenario because it's not always going to be beneficial uh, for small use cases so yeah that's just a suggestion so that's it guys